So there's a lot that goes into the home buying process, especially if you are a first time home buyer. One criteria mortgage lenders use to assess your mortgage application is the debt to income ratio or your DTI. Your debt to income ratio is a comparison of how much you owe your debts to how much money you earn your income. The income you make before taxes, so that's your gross income, is used to measure this number. A lower debt to income ratio tells the lender that you have a healthy balance between debt and income. However, a higher debt to income ratio indicates that too much of your income is dedicated to paying down your debt. And this could make some lenders see you as a risky borrower. They might not want to take a chance on you. So while the debt to income ratio isn't the only factor that is used to assess how much you can borrow, it is still important to understand before you begin your home buying process. So what is a good debt to income ratio? My name is Jose Gambo. I am a local real estate agent right here in Tampa, Florida. I love turning renters into homeowners. If this is your first time here and you've not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that. Hit the notification bell so that you can be one of the first people to know every time I upload a new video. So what is a good debt to income ratio? A debt to income ratio of 20% means that 20% of your income is going towards paying down debts. This include cumulative debts. So think of credit card payments, think of your car payments, your student loans, or any other personal loans that you may have, or any other debt that you may have. According to a breakdown from the mortgage report, a good debt to income ratio is about 43% or less. Many lenders may even want to see a DTI as close to like 35% according to lending tree. A ratio closer to 45% might be acceptable depending on the loan that you apply for. But a ratio that is 50% or higher can raise some concerns. So if you're having too much debt relative to your income, it will make it harder for you to qualify for some home loans. So that's why many common forms of debt like student loans uh, or credit card debts can be a major barrier for home ownership. Mortgage lenders want to make sure borrowers haven't overextended themselves in terms of how much debt they can afford to take on. And that is why having a high DTI could cause lenders to decline your mortgage application. Sometimes people will say, well, I do have um, the credit score. And yet your credit score might just be borderline where it needs to be. But if your credit score is just barely where it needs to be and your debt to income ratio, your debt is high, that might be one reason why they might disqualify you or decline your loan application. So what can you do to lower your debt to income ratio? If you're worried that your high DTI may prevent you from getting your desired home loan, you can try to lower it before beginning the mortgage application process. Usually that means either paying down your debts or increasing your income. I mean, that's really only two ways to do this. You make more money, or you pay off the debts or pay down the debts. If you have credit card debts spread among multiple cards, maybe you can consolidate them. You know, maybe you can get a personal loan, you know, to pay off all the credit card debts and then you'll only have one left, like one debt instead of having multiple debts that are spread out. So you just have all your payments into one monthly payment and that can give you possibly a lower interest rate.
and this will help you to pay down the balance of your loan faster since you're saving on interest. So um, you might want to get look into either getting a, a credit card with a low interest rate and consolidating all your credit card debts onto that and paying that off and just having one uh, payment, or you can increase your income, pick up a second job, pick up some extra shift, however you choose to do that. But there's really only two ways to do that, to lower your debt to income ratio. You pay down your debts or you increase your income. It's that simple. So guys, again, I hope this helped. This is just that if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that. Your debt to income ratio is one of the key things that lenders are gonna be looking at. And if your debt to income ratio is too high, they might deny you a loan application. So if you are really serious about getting into a home, especially in 2023, you wanna start working on your DTI as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.